A common ocular plastic problem is a canalicular laceration and the design of the silicon tubing, the mini, mini moniker, has enormously improved the way in which we repair these torn canaliculi. Most repairs are done with local anaesthetic and as you can see from that early grimace, the local anaesthetic does sting. You can minimise how much it stings by initially injecting a lower concentration of anaesthetic, but generally the stinging is very brief. The next step is to identify the canalicular laceration, and here I'm using a punctum seeker, and you can quite clearly see that Without a repair with the mini moniker, the chances are that this canaliculus would not drain again. In order to try and find the distal end of the canaliculus, I'm putting in some phenylephrine drops. This can be beneficial in making the distal part of the canaliculus pout such that you can find it. This is nonetheless the most difficult part of a canalicular laceration repair. The mini moniker can at this point be placed in the proximal portion. The punctum usually needs to be dilated a little to allow the tip of the moniker to be pulled fully into the punctum. Non-toothed forceps are ideal as there's no risk of the sharp teeth embedding in the silicon and causing a small tear. Once in, the moniker is just pulled tight, and if you concentrate on the little tip by pulling it absolutely tight, you get this suddenly, sudden click point where the tip tucks into the punctum, which happens just now. You can see it's sitting then flush in, ready for the insertion into the distal portion of the canaliculus. Now initially here I'm finding it difficult to find it despite the phenylephrine so I'm going for the next trick here which is to inject either air or in this case saline into the sac through the upper intact canaliculus and see if you can see a jet of water coming out now it doesn't show up particularly well on this video, but I was able to see where the little jet was coming from. So the next step was to swap to the operating microscope. Now here with the microscope, I'm just teasing my way down and you can start seeing just in that corner near the tip of the cotton bud, the canaliculus. With the phenylephrine, the lips of the canaliculus can be often made to uh, pout a little, which makes it a tad easier to find. To check that you've got the canaliculus, if you grasp the tissues, just making sure you're holding the canaliculus open, if you take a probe and slide the probe in, it should pass freely and easily through to the sac. It's very frustrating if you cannot find the canaliculus and other tricks have included mixing some fluorescein with uh, a viscoelastic and injecting that again through the upper uh, canaliculus if it's intact and or uh, injecting air and putting the in a canthus underwater so you can see where the air bubbles are coming from but it's a happy moment once you find the distal canaliculus and you tuck in the mini moniker tubing and now you're in a position to oppose the canalicular edges using the mini moniker as a nice sliding stent such that you should get perfect apposition The 
Next step, therefore, is to close the tissue either side around the moniker. And here I'm using an 8O Vicryl to achieve this. The first suture is passed, but not tied immediately in order to give you access to place the second suture. So the first, the first suture is passed and then held with a small bulldog clip in order to provide room for you to place the second suture. The, even with the operating microscope here, it's not obvious exactly where the silicon tube of the moniker is sitting. Thankfully, when you're actually doing the surgery, it is more obvious. It's simply that the, the video doesn't show up the silicon that well. So with the first 8 vicryl held on that little bulldog clip, the second suture is passed on the opposite side of the moniker, such that when both sutures are tied, the proximal and distal ends of the canaliculus will slide towards each other over the moniker as the stent. I leave the moniker in for at least three months. I know some people remove them a little earlier, but I think there's good evidence that fibroblast activity continues longer than six weeks. And indeed, if the moniker is not causing any problem, I'm happy to leave it in place up to a full six months. In order to help slide the edges together, you can see here how my assistant is pushing on the lower lid using the tip of a cotton bud. This basically extends the reach of their finger uh, and without getting in the way of the operating microscope so you can maintain a good view. And this is repeated for the first atovicral. And at this point, all that's left is to close the wound to bring the lacerated skin back to its original position such that your patient gets a hopefully a very good cosmetic outcome as well as a very good functional outcome. There's debate as to whether it's necessary to repair an upper canalicular laceration in the presence of an intact lower canaliculus, but personally if I have an opportunity to repair a lacerated canaliculus and I can bring the edges back together over a mini moniker, I'll always do so, both for upper and lower canaliculi. I think the mini moniker is so incredibly safe that uh, it should be used whenever appropriate. The sutures here to the skin are 6 ovicral, which can be left to dissolve, but I normally re remove at a week. <laughs>